What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel here with a review. My first time doing this and I think it's going to be really awesome uh, for all my viewers and subscribers to basically see, um, test out, if you will, what different services have to offer and the results as real time as possible. And my first one that I'm doing is on ragingbull.com in particularly the uh, Kyle Dennis, uh, you know who I'm talking about, Kyle Dennis. He, uh, he gives out a pick, one pick a week. He calls it the fast five trades. I don't know why it's called the fast five trades as, uh, he doesn't give out five trades a week or anything of that nature. Um, either way, he, um, his fi fast five trades, he gives one stock a, um, a week. It uh, comes out on Mondays, usually around 10 o'clock Eastern time, 10, 1030, somewhere around there. It is Eastern time. And let's just dive right to it. I paid $97 for a full year. So in terms of cost, that's pretty good. That really, really is. That's that's really cheap to get one uh, one trade a week. Um, I did buy into this on the weekend, and we did get our very first trade alert yesterday at 10:40 Eastern time. I was watching this in real time when it first came out. GNUS uh, gives you a reason why uh, they announced this morning that the news that their toys will be in Walmart and Amazon stores. Pretty big news. And he does give out targets, buy zones, profit zones, stop zones, his actions. Buy zone under $2, profit zone mid $2, stop zone $1.25 or lower. And his actions, he bought 30,000 shares of GNUS at $1.74. Keep in mind that we got this at 1040, which is 840 my time, Mountain Standard Time. Let's take a look at this. Um, trade here or at this alert We've got G and US this is a one minute chart you're seeing this from yesterday this is yesterday's action uh, yesterday being August the 3rd 2020 and again he uh, announced this at 8 40 my time 10 40 Eastern time you can see here it was trading at one between one what was the low there 181 to as high as 185 on the one minute I uh, could have bought in there and yeah, I mean, his targets, uh, profit is over, you know, mid twos, mid $2. So, uh, obviously didn't get there. Here's the, uh, interesting part. He's, he noted that, uh, he bought at a dollar 74, 30,000 shares. It's about, you know, $50,000 worth. Um, again, a dollar 74, it wasn't trading a dollar 74 until way back here. Back at 7.48 my time, a whole hour basically, a whole hour before he sent out the alert. And hey, I get it. You have to have enough time to not only buy for yourself, but type out the alert, send it out. Um, it takes some time. I get it. Um, that's the only sort of current complaint uh, here that I have. He sold at a, at a price point that wasn't available to his subscribers. Uh, sure got as low as 178 and it didn't really do much it got up to 196 yeah so I mean you could have made tiny 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 profits there and then it just crashed down uh, towards the end of the day on to today uh, just haven't done anything it hasn't gone anywhere um, Per his, you know, stop losses and whatnot uh, in the 125 or lower. So I guess this play is still in play. And we shall see what happens with that. I'll give you an update later in the week uh, to see what happens. Whether you would have been stopped out first, hit the uh, stop zone, or you would have profited first. So what I want to do now is look at his past plays, past alerts which you do have access to. Let's take a look at DVAX. DVAX uh, alerted July 27th. We're gonna look at the one hour charts uh, just to you know scan through them quickly. Nothing too in depth. That doesn't look like a winner, but what was, so buying under 940, profit zone 990. 940, yeah. 
and then 990 what's the high here 975 so it didn't hit the targets and still uh today um you know a whole week later still hasn't hit the target okay well let's just keep going here let's keep going let's see what his other trades did july 20th 2020 wkhs to buy zone under 14.25 he alerted this july 20th under 1425 and his profit zone is 1490 1425 yeah dude 1425 Ooh, that, that would have been close. I don't know if you could have gone in. Um, that would have been really close. And it looks like you would have profited. So, okay. Okay, that's that seems more promising. Workhorse. Uh, let's just keep going here. HTBX. Let's get the details here. July 13th. Uh, look at this. Wow, this looks very promising. HTBX, his uh, buy zone is under a buck 25 and his profit zone is over a buck 40 man just not much profit there to start okay then upper uh once okay okay possibly 190 stop zone 90 cents yeah you kind of got in under dollar uh, 25 so one after two days of holding this and not getting stopped out yeah look at that i'm it, heck this is a home run here i'm seeing this as as a uh, big home run actually from dollar 25 to this high of 430 that's 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 <laughs> that's a good trade there <laughs> that's a really good trade uh put in a couple grand uh you'd make a lot of money there uh rad on july 6th so red july 6th his buy zone is under 1825 and profit zone over 19 dollars okay uh it, it never it never got up there and actually that would have been a disaster okay so but you could have could have made a little bit of money you could have gotten out if, if you wanted to um for the next you know basically day beginning of the of the second day of holding okay i mean not all um alerts are going to be winners that's to be expected in any service in any trade any strategy um so we can't be too hard there 1825 though july 6th yeah see yeah i mean you would have you would have been in profit here per his alerts let's just keep going june 29th c-o-t-y oh this doesn't look good already but c-o-t-y we got two alerts on this monday on this particular day uh 10 19 under 480 480 yep that that was pretty much most most of the day i mean heck if you bought if you bought here you would have been in profits it would have been profit at the end of the day, so that's that's pretty good. But look at that, just nothing. No, that that would that would not have been a good alert, good trade there. KGC. Let's look at the other one for that day right here. Ooh, this one looks promising. June 29th, uh, under seven dollars buy zone. Uh, we're trying to profit over seven fifty. Stopped at low six hundred. Uh, six dollars low six six dollars okay um seven dollars right here yeah yeah you had been getting under seven dollars and then you would have been in profit the next morning and then some so 750 okay okay look at that do you would you would have been in profit all these days and then 750 actually hits did it hit this day? No, but you probably would have gotten out. So this, this was a good trade. This was a good alert. Let's just keep going down here. I N O June fifteenth buys under fourteen dollars, and we're trying to profit over fifteen dollars. Under fourteen dollars. Ooh, that that's okay. You would have been getting in around the fourteen dollars flat, 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 flat. But look at this. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. Holy cow, guys. I don't know. This, there might be something to this. I mean, look at this run out. I mean, we're talking about 100, 100% here. And then some. And then it came back down. But still, look, you could have just held on to this one for about a good week. Uh, 15, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 trading days, 9 trading days. Wow, that's I'm quite, I'm actually really quite impressed on, on this one. I know SRNE June 8th. Okay, looks promising, looks promising. Um, his buy zone is under 470. 470 could have easily gone under 470 okay his profit zone is 510 over 510 you it, it hit it it hit it it hit it to aftermarket that same day the next day and I'm sure you would have kind of been out of the play but I did see holy cow look at this guys What's the low here? Low 431. Okay, so you would have probably been out by this day. But, gosh. Look at these run-ups. From 4, that's, that's 100% or if, if you just hold on to part. Yeah, holy moly, 200 plus percent. That's actually quite impressive. CO2Y. CO2, let's let's take a look at and oh, okay we're let's just do one page we can sit here all day long COTY and NIO June 1st seems a little bit more promising June 1st here we go yep that's a lot more promising COTY under 435 over 450 to start you would have been in profit the very next morning hit target price and it just came back down to your original um buy zone and but it just didn't look back after that you guys that's 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 interesting let's look at the other uh trade nio uh, god look at this guys holy crap i'm really really impressed here under 420 june 1st 420 that would have been tough no you could have gone in on this bar 420 and I mean geez what a run up that's 50 percent I mean you're like you're 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 yeah look at this guys I don't know guys um this is awesome this is really really interesting being awesome just by looking at his past uh uh trade since uh June 1st to uh today uh August the 4th August the 3rd basically from yesterday's alert I don't know this seems pretty promising it's $97 um, I'll get an affiliate link down below for you guys if anybody is interested in um, buying into um, I'm gonna trade since I bought this I have it for er, for a year I'm gonna trade uh, the next alert heck it, they, they seem to be pretty promising sure there were some bad trades uh, bad alerts that's bound to happen you can't necessarily judge this service by not being a hundred percent i guess nothing is a hundred percent nothing is guaranteed so we got to give give them that um here's my sort of thoughts after thoughts um not in any sh way shape or form in my uh basically uh talking about the legitimacy of the service or pointing this towards Kyle Raging Bull.com, Kyle Dennis, or any of the other guys, Jason Bond, and I forgot the other guy's name. Um, my personal experience with email lists, email alerts, trade alerts is um, a lot of the times they uh, there's an insider at some point, whether it be a trader that's been accumulating shares or just an insider in, in general that wants to pump up the price. So they'll go out to um, anybody that has an email list, email service list, uh, trade list to pump up the price intentionally. Uh, they go out and pr uh, promote it. I'm not saying this is what's happening here. That is not at all what I'm 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 saying. 
Um, I'm just sharing my experience um, with you guys. So I don't know. I'm going to trade the very next trade. Let's see how it goes. I'm quite impressed. I really am. And sure, I only went as far back as June the 1st. Um, so, you know, two months worth of trade picks. But I think you would have made some money. There's a lot more uh, picks here, his past trades. So... I'm going to take more time and actually look through them and then I'm going to give a later update on GNUS yesterday's um, alert. We'll see how it goes guys. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video that I made today, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well and comment down below what you thought. If you have any uh, past experiences with RagingBull.com, Kyle Dennis or any of the other guys. Again, I forget that third guy's uh, name, but Jason Bond is also in that mix. So uh, comment down below, guys. I greatly appreciate it. See you here again on the very next trading video. Hoping it's a green trade. See you guys later.